the 33-year-old DJ will step down in September, to be replaced by Greg James, 32, in what's essentially a job swap, with Nick taking over Greg's current drive time slot from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. During his show on Thursday morning the man nicknamed Grimmy explained, It was always my dream to do the breakfast show and I'm very grateful that I got to live my dream every day for what will be nearly six years, but six years is a long time and this isn't a forever job. I had the time of my life. Most importantly, it's going to be time for a new wake-up time, preferably about 11.30. The announcement comes just a fortnight after figures revealed that Nick's Radio 1 breakfast show had the second lowest listening figures since records began. Yet despite that he's still been the show's second longest running host, only Chris Moyles, whom Nick replaced as a 27-year-old tasked with attracting a younger audience, spent longer at the helm, having been with the station for eight years. Nick first joined the Beeb in 2007 hosting the BBC. Two youth music show alongside veteran DJ Annie Mack. He also enjoyed a brief stint as an X Factor judge in 2015 alongside Rita Ora, Simon Cowell and Cheryl Tweedy, blank, underscore, blank, underscore the goodies are to reunite for the first time in more than a decade. Graham Garden, 75, Tim Brooke Taylor, 77, and Bill Oddy, 76, will no doubt be being very silly. Indeed at London's Leicester Square Theatre next Thursday. These days, however, the surreal comedy trio are more likely to use their free bus passes to get to the venue than Buttercup. They trust the old Trandon. The audience with the event will be filmed and is to promote a future DVD of the troupe's sketches described as the last great unreleased box set. In the sold-out event, they will talk about their TV series, which aired from 1970 to 1982 and are sure to invite the audience to join them in a rousing rendition of their top 10 hit from 1975, The Funky Gibbon. They last got together to 4 or 2005 BBC retrospective after a live show in the UK and Australia, where they remain especially popular. Blank, underscore, blank, underscore. It's safe to say that anyone who's ever tried to use voice recognition software will have had a mixed degree of success at best, but spare a thought. For poor old Jonathan Ross who had a shocker after attempting to use the voice recognition feature on his own mobile, I used Siri to set a reminder to call radio. Two, and this is just hurtful, it came out as Call Radio 2, says the 57-year-old, who is sometimes referred to as Wasi, due to the difficulty he has in pronouncing. Zars, blank, underscore, blank, underscore If Tom Cruise's Twitter account is anything to go by filming on the long-anticipated sequel to Top Gun has taken off, the 55-year-old actor shared a photo of himself and his F-14A Tomcat jet sporting his classic aviator shades and a helmet bearing his character's name, Maverick. Referencing the 1986 film's catchphrase, Feel the Need, is written across the image with the man himself captioning it. Top Gun's Maverick will, it seems, be set in a world of drone technology and follows fighter pilots whose old style of flying is becoming obsolete. It is due for a July 2019 release, blank, underscore, blank, underscore Mel C provided a touch of glamour at yesterday's Ivan Novello Awards but the former Spice Girl might have had an ulterior motive for her appearance at Grosvenor House in London. When Day did something new it would have to be amazing, I'll have to eye up some of the talent in the room and who want to work with the Spice Girls, said the 44-year-old. She added that she reckons the British music industry is in a very healthy condition. We've got great songwriters, great composers, great artists doing great things around the globe. There were no surprises when Ed Sheehan picked up the Songwriter of the Year award, having dominated the charts with his Divide album. 
although eyebrows were raised when none other then legendary guitarist Eric Clapton, 73, joined the 27-year-old pop star at his table. Perhaps an interesting collaboration is in the pipeline, blank, underscore, blank, underscore Zoe Ball's daughter has finally had her Christmas wish. Granted, as day, the 47-year-old has homed not one but two felines after visiting the Raysteed Center in Sussex who tweeted, Zoe Ball and her family came to meet Jane, our cattery manager, and a litter of adorable kittens. Their mum, Gracie had come in as a stray with four little ones in tow. Cheeky boys Winston and Wilbur stood out and it was love at first sight. We do love happy endings, Zoe, pictured right, replied, kittens are settled in their new home, we love them so. Renamed Winston, he is now monkey, as that is exactly what he is. Thank you for helping us. Glad Gracie has new home.